No Dragon Ball news at E3, huh? Absolutely nothing. No clue if we're getting more DLC for existing games or if we're getting new games, just nothing. Radio silence. Bandai Namco even had their own panel where they chose to just showcase House of Ashes. I don't blame them for not showcasing Dragon Ball games if there is nothing ready to show yet, but you gave a one hour interview with Miyazaki to IGN and Scarlet Nexus is coming out next week and you just announced new Shinobi Striker DLC. That was definitely some stuff to show and talk about at the Bandai Namco panel. Regardless, we're here for Dragon Ball. We're looking at where Dragon Dragon Ball is going next, whereas it's going to be more DLC or a brand new game. And this video is brought to you by Keeps. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they hit 35? This stat seems absolutely insane, but it wasn't until I heard it that I started noticing the group of people around me, my friends, my family, and it totally checks out. It's something that most guys will just have to deal with. Luckily, Keeps is here to help you. And with a the system they've built, you can get treated from the comfort of your own house. You can visit a doctor online with Keeps and get a prescription and then get the medication you need delivered delivered to your home every three months. Without ever stepping foot outside, you can get treated and keep your hair. Because there's no magic solution, there's no special potion that will grow your hair back. The best way to keep your hair is by preventing hair loss. Treatments can take up from four to six months, sometimes even more to see results. So the sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you will save. If you're noticing that you're losing hair, do something about it. Go to keeps.com slash you'll get a 50% discount of your first order. The link is down below. Thank you Keeps for sponsoring this video. Speaking of hair, let's address the elephant in the room. Um, yeah. It's gone. The beard is gone. I had a celebration stream on Twitch where we were celebrating 200,000 subscribers here on YouTube and we were also donating to charity. One of the donation goals was to shave my beard. So we, we gave charity a lot of money. The beard is a small price to pay. It will grow back. Don't worry about it. Let's talk Dragon Ball. And throughout this entire video, we're talking about console games. I'm sure mobile has its own plans. I mean, Legends is still going very strong. I honestly don't feel like that side of Dragon Ball games is lacking. On console, we have what I consider to be the three modern Dragon Ball games. Those are Xenoverse 2, Dragon Ball Fighters, and Kakarot. Every game that came out before Xenoverse 2 is now from two generations ago, which is crazy to think about. We're all getting old. So let's see where these three games are at, let's see what the future holds for them, and let's see if there's any sequels in the works. Xenoverse 2 is, believe it or not, the only one of the three that still has DLC announced. Not too long ago, they released a legendary pack with PyCon and Topo as playable characters, along with new accessories, skills, and story missions. It was a pretty big pack, to be honest. And it seems that there's another legendary pack currently in the works, coming out later this year, probably around the holiday season. Xenoverse 2 launched in October 2016, and if this DLC comes out around October, that will make Xenoverse 2 a five-year-old game that is still getting content. Respect. Now, to be fair, of the three modern Dragon Ball games, Xenoverse is probably the easiest one to make DLC for. It's kind of like the Roblox of Dragon Ball games. And honestly, five years developing content for the same game, I bet that team has some really good ideas of where to go next. I bet they know exactly the things they would like to change, the things they would like to build differently, and just get a fresh start. Of all the modern Dragon Ball games, if any of them are getting a sequel, I bet Xenoverse 3 will be the first one we see. As for Dragon Ball Fighters, you know Oh, this one's my favorite. I do not hide my bias in any way. But yeah, it looks like Fighters is done. I definitely thought a season 4 would be in the works, but if that was the case, I think it would have been announced by now. And that Gogeta placement in the character select screen is definitely very telling. That said, the success of Fighters is undeniable and a sequel is definitely coming. Will that sequel be a Dragon Ball Fighters 2 or will that be another anime in the style of Fighters? I swear that this dude that leaked the My Hero fighting game concept is like, oh yeah, my uncle works for Arxis. He put so much time and an effort into writing this fanfic and then thought, how do I get people to read my fanfic? Honestly, disguising his fanfic as a leak was a genius idea. It got me to read it. That said, it doesn't seem like they're anywhere near close to launching a new fighter, so even though I really believe a sequel will eventually come, it's probably not gonna be the next Dragon Ball game. And finally, we have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We just got the final DLC from the season pass, so this one, it's really hard to tell where it's going because the DLC is too recent. Kakarot was a pretty big game and I feel like Bandai can still get some mileage out of it without releasing a sequel. I think a season 2 of DLC is definitely a real possibility. Or even some smaller DLCs not even tied to a season pass. I mean, the Switch version just got announced, it was pretty much the only Dragon Ball thing 
this C3, but the Switch version will have Gotenks and Vegito fully playable in free roam. Which is something Kakarot fans have been asking for a while, and it's a bit of a dick move to lock that behind the Switch version. And knowing Nintendo and how much they like exclusive features when you port their games over, I don't think it's guaranteed that we'll see this in other versions of Kakarot. That said, a Kakarot feature isn't that likely in my opinion. If they decide to update this game and maybe take it into Dragon Ball Super, I think that will either be straight up a DLC or it will be a bigger standalone expansion. Something you can buy separately without purchasing Kakarot, but also something bigger than the DLC packs they've been selling. Kind of like Spider-Man Miles Morales. You can buy that separately and sure, it counts as a new game, but it's still heavily using the Spider-Man PS4 as a basis. So it doesn't feel like a full-fledged sequel, if you know what I mean. I do think a season two of DLC is the most likely outcome for Kakarot. Either that or they're simply done with the game now and that's it. So with that recap of the three modern Dragon Ball games, my prediction is that the next one will be Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. Followed by a fighter sequel, Dragon Ball or otherwise, and we probably won't see a Kakarot sequel, but I'm optimistic that we'll have more DLC sometime soon. Probably even before Xenoverse 3 is a thing, since uh, they have one more DLC to release. I think Xenoverse 3 is still at least coming out in 2022, though I would, I would point towards 2023 at this point. COVID delayed a lot of stuff and the Dragon Ball silence around E3 I think is very telling. There's also a couple of other possibilities that I feel fairly good about and the first one is a brand new thing, a new Dragon Ball concept. Just like Kakarot was a new concept for Dragon Ball games, we could see something else pop up. It's hard to imagine where Dragon Ball would go next because we just got an open world RPG with Kakarot and we just got the dream fighting game with Dragon Ball Fighters. It's really hard to top these two concepts. Maybe you guys are a bit more creative than me and you, you know the answer right off the bat. But hey, this is Bandai Namco, they've been making Dragon Ball games for the past 30 years, I'm sure they can come up with something. I got it. Dragon Ball Souls. You play as Yajirobe, extremely underpowered, you respawn using the Dragon Balls, you heal with Senzu Beans, there you go. Oh, Dragon Ball Warriors. Not a hard game to make, Dynasty Warrior style, but it's Dragon Ball characters that, damn, this game makes itself. Dragon Ball Kart Racing. Goku and Piccolo learned how to drive, so let's put that driver's license to good use. Put the Dragon Ball characters in carts, make some wacky circuits, items are Kamehamehas, the star turns you into Super Saiyan, even if you're playing as Piccolo. I don't I don't know, but as you can see, there are a lot of directions where you could go. So we could definitely see something new coming up next, but I do think Xenoverse 3 would come out before whatever new is coming out. And there's still one more thing they could do, which is go back to some of their older popular series. Budokai and Budokai Tenkaichi are still fairly popular. They are all time favorites and fans have been asking for a sequel for quite some time. Now, if they go back to those games, I genuinely don't think they will just give you a sequel. I think the first thing they would do would be to remaster those games into the new consoles. A remaster wouldn't be as expensive as building a brand new game and it's a good way to gauge interest to see if people are still willing to buy those games. Put it out there, see if the interest is still there or if it's just a small vocal minority that keeps yelling for Budokai Tenkaichi 4. And if it does well, then I think you can expect a sequel, but not before that. As for what they would remaster, would it be Budokai, would it be Budokai Tenkaichi, Raging Blast? I personally would love to see revival of the Budokai games, but I know Budokai Tenkaichi is the fan favorite. So a safe bet would definitely say Budokai Tenkaichi, but man, Burst Limit was so unfortunate. That really killed the Budokai series. Burst Limit came out on the Xbox 360 after Budokai Tenkaichi 3 on the PlayStation 2, and fans at that point were already expecting a much bigger roster. At the very least, it needed to feature the entirety of Dragon Ball Z, but looking back at that game, it deserved way better. It really revamped everything that Budokai did. It's a shame that anime games sometimes just sell based on characters and graphics alone, and systems really don't matter. But that's a look at where I think Dragon Ball is going next and the most likely outcome will be more Kakarot DLC and Xenoverse 3. Those are the two things that I would expect to happen next in the world of Dragon Ball. After that, a fighter sequel, something new and a Budokai Tenkaichi remaster at some point. But of course that's only my opinion, I would also love to hear yours. Where do you think Dragon Ball is going next? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget about today's sponsor, go to keeps.com slash to get 50% off your first order. And as as always, thank you very much for watching, my name is Globku and I'll see you next time, bye!